Hello everyone, this is Attention Channel and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, create a uh, like uh, burning objects within uh, Photoshop and this tutorial will be my very first tutorial on Photoshop I made some tutorials on Cinema 4D so if you like them you would love this tutorial because I'm kind of uh, better in Photoshop so uh, yeah let's uh, jump into the tutorial so what are we go you're gonna need is some stocks some images for this tutorial which are these uh, fire and flames and these particles and uh, things like that to get like an uh, HD looking photo so I'm gonna be including all this in the description so you you don't have to search for any of this but you can find like a lot of fire stocks just google them okay so let's jump in the tutorial so this how it would look in photoshop got the same so let's close this and save and let's create a new document I'm gonna use uh, 1920 over 1080 which is quite a large size I'm gonna do 72 pixels per inch since we are not gonna print that or anything let's name that uh, burning something and hit ok so let's change fill the background with black so since our foreground color is black we just gonna hold alt and then press backspace or delete so let's control let's press control plus zero to size our canvas to fit the screen okay so now we're gonna do this uh, uh, I don't know cloudy like uh, background on it I don't know so how we're gonna do this is to select a uh, quite dark color squid sky okay and let's go to image or layer and then new fill layer and select guardian uh, let's name it cloud or something or don't name it at all so let's change the style from linear to radio let's increase the scale a little bit oh, that's quite enough let's hit ok so it is looking kind of boring right now so how we're gonna make it a little more advanced is gonna select thumbnail of the mask of this uh, cloud layer and then go to filter and then render and choose cloud and there you go if you don't find the way of the clouds interesting you can just Control F to repeat the the process and get more like what you want. Okay, so let's put like uh, let's place uh, these uh, particles in here. So. So yeah, let's go to channel and by holding control we're gonna click on the thumbnail of the RGB layer or I don't know what to call that and let's rasterize this layer and then control J. We can now remove this layer 
and change the I don't know let's let, let, let's skip that sorry for that let's try something else so let's go to the brush tool and go to the brush menu uh, you can find it here or you go to window and then brush or hit F5 let's select a uh, normal brush with uh, I don't know hardness of 50 or such percent let's increase the spacing let's uh, mess around with the shape dynamics we want some random uh, like uh, sizes so mess around with these until you get something interesting so yeah and check scattering or scattering or I don't know let's uh, increase the count to 2 and uh, Alright, this is looking. I don't know. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. So let's add a new layer, and by pressing X, we choose white color as our formula, foreground color, and just this is uh, a large number. So what we're gonna do is to go to count and decrease the count to one. Let's try again. Control C to undo if you don't like the scattering. Uh, change the blend mode to overlay. Alright, this is looking quite awesome. So now we're gonna have to put the butterfly or uh, the object you want. It doesn't have to be that butterfly, but I'm gonna include that in the description in case you guys want to do the same like uh, I don't know so let's open the butterfly image as you see it is a PNG file and it's already masked so what I'm gonna do is to control shift U to desaturate the image and then go to image adjustment and choose levels let's mess around with these settings what we are trying to do now is to get either white or black uh, not we're gonna have to decrease this gray grayish I don't know color so yeah okay and then control I to invert and go to channel and control select RGB what's, what's that gonna do is to select the whites so control J to create a layer of the white uh, color and 8v to select the move tool and just drag it in the other image we are working on all right let's change it to smart object so we can size it down or up without without losing any quality uh, so yeah okay so the next thing is to add a new layer and hold alt and then when you hover over between these two layers uh, you're gonna have this, uh, this cursor and then just click and there you have it or just uh, really right click and create clipping mask okay let's change let's choose a uh, slightly uh, in light yellow and 
a brush with a hardness of zero and just increase the brush size by uh, the right bracket key on the keyboard and just uh, colorize this and let's choose a orange yellow or light orange color and just color in the edges of this butterfly so yeah so the next step is to go to layer and then go to this add layer style button and choose our glow yeah so let's change the color to red and opacity to 50 that's enough so hit ok and now we're gonna add the fire stocks to the to this canvas so I'm gonna do that is to go to where we have this uh, fire stocks and just drag this one in here not make sure not to drag it in this canvas just put it in here so we're gonna open it let's close this file since we're gonna need it anymore let's uh, hold control and then click on the screen uh, layer or what, whatever this is control J to make a selection or I don't know let's drag this to here and let's control alt click in here so it is now a huge image so how we're gonna resize it is first to convert it to smart object and then control zero control t first to call the free transform tool control zero again so yeah let's size it down and put it like uh, in here or something hit enter and I'm gonna duplicate it actually we're gonna make a group so we're gonna make a new group let's call it flames let's add all these name layers to the flame group and just make shapes of the swing or the whole butterfly easy way to duplicate is to by having this <coughs> sorry by having this move tool selected just click alt and drag and we're gonna have a new layer with this file control T to call the transform tool and resize it and put it somewhere around here enter and do the same thing maybe we're gonna flip it horizontally so we don't have identical shapes just repeat this process until you cover the whole uh, butterfly just resize and flip and move I don't know we'll just mess around and place these fire in different places Sorry, this was my phone. I guess I will ignore this call. Sorry for that. So let's uh, go back to the tutorial. 
and in these uh, legs we can just size this down and uh, it's gonna be easy to just uh, it looks like this uh, legs shape so it's gonna be control T Just continue doing this until you get what you want. Sorry, I'm gonna. Again. Just like this down. Looks like crap right now. And, uh, uh, so yeah, this is looking quite awesome. This area needs more fire. Yeah, it's looking awesome. So let's go to our box and just add this one. And let's change the one more to this interior screen. Yeah. And let's drop it in here. Alright. So let's make a lane mask to it and just what select the brush tool with black uh, foreground color and remove the pieces that you don't want so again let's go to the move tool v to the move tool and alt and drag this in here Control t to call the transform tool and again flip horizontally and let's drag it right here and size it down and let's go to the layer mask and select the brush tool and just mask out the additional pieces that you we don't want to have so yeah this is looking quite awesome so the last thing we're gonna do is to add these uh, particles shape thing and let's change it to screen and just decrease the opacity hit enter and we're gonna add a layer and click right click and create clipping mask let's, ch let's uh, choose uh, a slightly red color and colorize this area and change the blend mode to overlay Alright, this is looking awesome. Let's go back to the uh, particle layer and decrease the fill a little bit. Let's just drag it down a bit. So yeah, this is our tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on another uh, tutorials on Photoshop and Cinema 4D. Uh, just give that video a like if you 
found that helpful it really does help us a lot so thanks for watching and see you next week